Hi friendies and thank you for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be something like a weekly drama controversy update. Me recapping the things that happened over a weekly period or so. Basically, yeah, me addressing several things and controversy that there's there are going on. Also want to say that I've realized my channel has taken an extremely negative direction this very negative channel with a lot of negative content so to fight that i will be including different shout outs in the end of each video trying to support and uplift different people different um, creative people and uh, prefer preferably i will be doing this with women because i'm a feminist what else? Um, this video is going to be pretty controversial. So at this point, um, honestly, I, I am, I am living, in, I'm living with the mental condition of being prepared for my channel being taken down or anything. But yeah, I'm going to talk about that um, in relation to a particular theme right now. Basically, the first uh, thing that I'm going to talk about is a controversy that happened. It's not uh, talked about a lot on the social media. There is a possibility that I'm going to be the only person who talked about it. But the thing is that uh, Tarte Cosmetics, very popular, famous brand, came out with a, a lash collaboration with the Influence Exterior Glam. So, collaboration with releasing oh, full slashes. Uh, the influencer Exterior Glam is from Kosovo and they named uh, the pair of lashes in the Tarte collaboration Kosovo after Kosovo and Tarte in their, cap in their Instagram post caption wrote that uh, Influence named the other pair of lashes after her home country, referring to Kosovo again. And the thing is that I've been um, seeing some random mentions of Tarte and controversy here and there on my feed. It wasn't very common and I didn't even know what happened. But then I saw a couple of Instagram stories like that. Um, saying that Tarte is uh, being political and dividing people and then I looked up that on Google and found um, that post on Tarte. First of all, Tarte has already made like 10 or more Instagram posts um, after that, trying to bury that one as deep in their feed as possible, that's what I feel like. And uh, basically the problem that some people had, I, I I mean, safe to say a minority, uh, that it is political and acknowledging Kosovo as a country is a political statement. Kosovo is a disputed uh, territory in the Balkan region over which there was a war where oppo oppo opposing sides were fighting for Kosovo. And um, I don't want to, I, I don't know how much I can talk about it without so. Uh, without facing consequences. I have posted about that on a public forum where I was um, heavily attacked just for saying that this post caused a controversy, I was heavily attacked, insulted, called racist, even though both um, Serbians and Albanians are the same race, they're white, that is not racist, but I mean, being called racist is nowhere as worse as experienced racism. I think I should cut that part out, but of the video, out of the video, what am I, what I, well, yeah, basically, the conversation became very heated, and I was accused of, of things, and basically, uh, the point that I was enlightened with is that the influence, of course, has the right to call uh, something she comes up with after her birthplace, she's allowed to be proud, and Yes, 100% agree with that, but either way, it is political, no matter how you feel about the situation, and uh, uh, you don't have to agree with the comments on the Tart's post to understand that it is political and controversial. 
it references something that still has a lot of tension in the region, something that has a very painful dark history full of blood, something potential referencing the war that happened and I personally uh, I personally feel that it is political and it is controversial even even if we accept that what people commented on the Tart's post is wrong. There are two sides to the cost of a story as we all know. In my country we are uh, always being uh, educated about one side of the story while western world focuses on the opposing side of the story. The, the region has suffered horrible consequences from both sides so it is a very dark page of history if you like and my position uh my position is that yes it is it is just the name of location but there is a possibility that even if you name even if you name something solely solely after a location it can still be controversial if that word if that name of the location has a connotation of some sort i don't want to i don't want to be hateful and um i don't want to receive any hate and no person on earth wants to receive any hate but um i have already faced a lot um a lot of the backlash even though i honestly even though honestly it wasn't me who was commenting on Tatar's post and who was spreading the word across the internet but yeah there's that I have to say I do feel a particular way about um, different names of makeup names can be controversial a lot of names have been um, I have a video pre-filmed about uh, horrible decisions of brands and it has a section about controversial names. This is a more delicate story. It It is much more horrifying than anything that I talked about in that video, which is not up yet. But we're living in, in the world where everyone is held accountable for their actions. There are more consequences for doing things than there were before. Some people refer it to being offended over anything, but if we're talking about such delicate issues as cultural appropriation, blackface, things like that, then um, then such a region like Serbia deserves some representation too and deserves to 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 be taken into consideration as the cost of a site has been taken into consideration by Tart by supporting the influencer and um, saying that it is a country in their Instagram post but not that side and bottom line Serbian people are boycotting the brand or cancelling the brand saying it is political that makeup is trying to or that Tart is trying to sell makeup over dividing and alienating people just using using it for marketing so there's all that i want to say about that we'll link the post in my info box in my description box i mean i am ready to say goodbye to my, to my channel already for speaking about that but for now we'll just um head into the rest of the dramatic events that happened in the community um some russian media community section uh, joining Anton S, Andrei Petrov, and uh, Pahiti Teleromatov, who did who did not do any strikes, but who was uh, defending Anton S in the situation that happened. The fourth YouTuber joined the strike army. Uh, he's a friend of all of them. He's a friend of Andrei Petrov. His name is Vlados Miros. Vlados Miros. I really liked his uh, humor, his quirky persona but he joined the evil clan uh, abusing the youtube copyright system uh, once again and striking the drama montage montage channel called x furious uh, that's how it's pronounced as far as i know since i talked last about that uh, more channels were completely deleted because of 
because the evil clan just uh, combined, joined the forces and striked channels until each oh, until channels had three strikes all together, leading the channel to be deleted. And it's just funny to me. What what are you gonna stop? This evil clan needs to stop. Honestly, now there was some positive news. There was some positive piece of news in the same realm. Um, the channel of drama montages manager from London, manager is Londona. Um, originally he had his his two channels deleted by Anton S and striked. But now he appealed to one of the strikes on the second channel and his second channel was restored. The channel that he made after his first channel was deleted. That is definitely good news. I'm glad to know Fair News is still on the table on, on YouTube. So I congratulate that YouTuber and I wish the same resolution of the problem to all, everyone whose channel suffered too. The third piece of news that I want to talk about is um, James, Charles and Tati situation have faced more and more swirls, more and more updates. It was just... Oof. And when I watched the new James Charles video, I was like, um, I was under the impression that it changes a lot, but after time has passed, I had a night full of sleep and I woke up and then I understood that nothing really changed for me, but a lot of did change since I made the video because a lot of things happened after that and even before James Charles video, his second video with the receipts. What I want to say is um, the Tati, the Tati's video had very strong resonance. Do people say that word in English? Because we do say it in Russian. I mean, okay, let me rephrase it. Teddy's video had a uh, had this powerful message and controversy because she mas she mentioned how James was hitting on a straight waiter, knowing he was straight allegedly, and Tati saying that he was straight, and James responding with "So what? I'm a celebrity." But after that, so that waiter Sam made his own video, which actually shed some light on the situation, showing that it was consensual after James uh, Charles was hitting on him or something. After the night was over, Sam reached back and then they started communicating and in the end they spent the night at the hotel together kissing. Sam said James was a terrible kisser, the whole thing. So that already changes the narrative that Tati had put in her video, but mm, to me personally, James didn't address anything else, anything other than what I didn't know at the point. I did not appreciate the part with Zara Larson um, that he he put um, accusing Zara Larson of uh, thirsting over the guy who later became her her boyfriend. It was just, to me, Zara Larson did nothing, nothing bad in the first place. She only said she cackled when James Charles hit up her boyfriend in the DMs, knowing he was straight. He didn't say uh, James Charles was a, is an evil predator. She just stated the fact that James messaged her boyfriend on the DMs. And um, that is a fact. It doesn't need to be emotionally colored. That's what I feel like. But another thing that James addressed is that he did support Tati's brand and showing the clips of him. And it's really bitter and upsetting. But in the end of the day, the whole situation was over vitamins, even though that's not what we were under the impression originally, or we were trying not to be under that impression. So I can say my outlook on life changed solely because of James's video. I was in my first video about the situation, I said I was team Tati. Now I just want to say I'm team no one. They're both not extremely good people. Please spare me of the ageism of how he's just 19 years old. He's just an infant who doesn't know anything. 
mm, sure that's n that's not how I see it but yeah James is not a sexual predator perhaps but he did do some some stuff that it is that is still on the table like yeah despite of what he said he still had his gender listed as female on tinder he still messaged guys who had boyfriends he messaged a married guy trying to flirt with him but it, it is really such a such a pit full of dirt and jeffrey star also inserted him inserted himself in the drama with some horrible messages implying horrible things in relation to james charles which he was criticized on the media, but um, at this point he made a video how he's changed in a day, how he's a different person now, how he's not gonna act like that. So there is that. Maybe now we can put this uh, drama to rest. It was an ugly week or so on the internet, and uh, I don't uh, I don't know what conclusion can the society make of this situation, but. Unfortunately, it was over personal monetary gain and uh, personal brands. Um, it was not about morals and it was not about ethics. The final thing that I want to discuss is Eurovision. I know it's like old news at this point, but honestly, I had no opportunity to film this earlier. I watched Eurovision for the first time in more than a decade and I was very excited. I really enjoyed the show. I'm gonna state my favorites. I, uh, my first, my first place gold. My most favorite is Slovenia. That's just took my heart. It's so sensual and ah uh, It it struck me. That performance is just my personal favorite. My second favorite is Norway. Also, Norway is the country that gained the most vote. As far as public vote is concerned, they got the most votes from just the people voting at home. And that performance was beautiful. The song is beautiful. It really has this uh, true Eurovision spirit to it. And um, our Norwegian performance also included some re uh, representation of indigenous Nordic ethnicity of Sami. The uh, singer, the bold singer, who was like, ho, 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 he's a representative of that Sami ethnicity. And it's, um, it's amazing. Um, indigenous representation is a very powerful move and it's exactly the message that Eurovision needs to have. So to me, that's a second place, but I would be happy if that was the first place too, because honestly, I don't even remember I watched the whole stream of Eurovision, but I don't remember the, the Netherlands song and the performance at all. Like, I remember it, but I don't remember the song, I don't remember anything. It did not impress me whatsoever. I don't think that deserved the first place, but I mean, who am I? People have spoken. It's just my opinion. Um, speaking about Russia song, also unpopular opinion. I feel like third place was too high for that. Also, can we just stop sending our A-list celebrities while every other country sends just like those young aspiring singers who don't have the countrywide fame prior to the competition? I think the fault of our song is that it was like three minutes, three minutes of just plain singing, but uh, the, the main important part uh, not so not so silent and innocent was literally just like one second or a couple of seconds repeated twice during the whole song or so and it didn't make such an impression because I mean we viewers have very short attention span especially if it comes to the song and I don't feel like the the structure of the song failed to capture the audience and the short attention span because that dramatic part was way, way longer in the video, but it was a good song. It was a good song, good performance, ranked pretty high in the list, but there's that. But I would give the third place to, to Italy. That was 
beautiful song, beautiful performance, had quite a message from what I understood. Another part of the third place that I would give to, to Switzerland, just because of how the energetic song was. It has this uh, funny, fun summer beach, wa beach vibe, and I can already sense that song being played on all, all the beach radios across the region, the European region, I mean. Overall, I really enjoyed the show. I liked like 10 songs out of 22, and that is a lot. I enjoyed it so much. There was a little controversial moment when Hatari, the anti um, capitalist, anti consumerist BDSM art group, beautiful performance, honestly, when they showed Palestinian flags uh, during the, the time when the vote. Uh, votes were being announced. I also saw the video when the managers were trying to like take the flags away from them and uh, honestly what I feel about the topic is if waving a Palestinian flag in Israel is considered controversial then so is naming lashes after Kosovo and acknowledging that it is a country. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't have an opinion about um, either of the situations because this video has a very a very big poten potential for the channel to be deleted but I my point is nothing but just saying that it is controversial it sparks controversy it sparks debate it it causes emotion not positive and negative now talking about the shout out Today's video shout out uh, is going to be a musician. Her name is Pauline Scanlon. She's an Irish singer. The genre that she performs in is very um, connected to the traditional Irish uh, singing and Irish culture. I've been to an Irish uh, music concert and she performed there. That happened on um, St. Patrick's weekend. So I'm going to insert a clip of her singing. That was taken by me, so no threat from that video. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I will see you in my next video. And I hope you enjoy the music. But I say